Hello, this is Lauren Weinberg with ID8 TV, and we are here with Silas Weir Mitchell from Grimm. Thank you for being here. Thank you for uh, hosting. You're not hosting. Not for East West, but You're for ID8. Hosting this interview. Exactly. Thank you for hosting this event right here between us. Well, thank you for attending this event right here you know, between anytime us. Anytime I'm the only person invited somewhere, I'll go. It's a party of two. Hey, you know. <laughs> so you are here supporting Reggie. I am. So tell us what Reggie's like to work with. Are you happy that he's being honored? What is what is the general family consensus from Grimm? Well, the idea, well, it's a little different for me because I was actually studying with Reggie in class. We were working on a piece together in class when we both got Grimm. So we share a certain affinity for a way of working. And to be able to share that in the professional world with someone who is a, a, a long-time compatriot in the trenches of practice and uh, the trenches of class, someone who understands the way you work, that doesn't happen very often because you get 10 actors in a room, you get 10 different ways of working, but with Reggie and I, we understand things similarly, so it's a delight to be able to share time with him in a story. And um, he is one of the hardest working actors I know. He does not take shortcuts, he does not um, fake it. He does the homework and comes prepared and is a delight to be around on set and in life. He's the, one of the nicest people I know. What did you both do when you found out that you had gotten characters on Grimm? We, we couldn't, it was just we laughed. We, we laughed and we were delighted and we shared the kind of, you know, hey, we, you know, won the jackpot. And then when it started going and going, we were like, look at this, this is, you know, and we just waited for the moments when we might actually have scenes together. Because we don't, we were in prison break together and never shared screen time, but in this show we've had two or three little interactions and the latest one was pretty funny. So uh, it's just, it just feels like another cherry on top of the cherry on top of the cherry that you get to share this experience with someone who sees the creative process in a similar way. So speaking of your characters, what types of characters do you like to tackle? What motivates you to participate in a project? Well, that's an interesting question because I tend to think that it doesn't matter what character you're asked to play, the process is essentially the same, which is absorbing the life that you're given to live, uh, the imaginary life, real life, I suppose, if you're doing a biographical project. Um, and that will change based on the writing and based on who the character is. It's not that your approach changes based on what you're asked to do, it's that what you're asked to do changes who you become. So the process is the same, it's like a mathematical function. You put one thing here and then another thing comes out. It's the same thing with, you know, you put a villain here and something else comes out, you put a heartbroken person here, another thing comes out. So it's more about what you're asked to do rather than what you're doing to it. When you're not acting, what do you like to be doing? Oh, I like to read. I do a lot of reading. I walk with my dog. I have a beautiful new dog that I spend a lot of time with. Um, I'm really, uh, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of, of um, hockey, so right now I'm obsessed with the uh, playoffs, so I'm watching way too much sports. Um, but, uh, you know, I travel when I have time, you know. An actor with a well-balanced life. Yeah, yeah. Well. I have a, a, balanced, a balanced psychic diet. Well, thank you for joining us. I'm Lauren with ID8 TV, and I'm here with Silas Weir Mitchell. Thank you. Thank you.